Okay, we're here at the race game with Ken Revisa, <laughs> the man. And give us some, uh, what have you been seeing lately in the mental game of baseball? What are some trends? What are you kind of working with guys? Anything that you see that's consistent pattern lately? I think the biggest change is the whole issue of guys realizing that adversity is going to be part of it and you better be prepared to deal with it. You're not going to feel good all the time. And, uh, just a couple out the way here from, from winning the game. And the guys really have to learn how to be comfortable being uncomfortable and get the job done regardless of how you feel. I think that's the biggest thing I'm saying, Tom. All right, so how do you do that? Well, that's where routines come into play and, and having a mental game, something to go to when the garbage hits the fan because the garbage will hit the fan. And you got to be prepared for it and not get all emotional about it. But just keep getting to the next pitch. That's what we talk a lot about, is getting to that next pitch. Sounds hard, but you got to have ways to release it, get yourself together, get committed to what you're trying to do. And if you got 60%, use 100% of that 60. Yeah. And how about... Uh what would you say would be the biggest mental game trap that you're seeing guys fall into? The biggest mental game mistake? If a guy gets into the mental game when they first get in, sometimes they start getting too into being what I call internal, taking care of themselves, and that's just part of the learning phase. Sometimes you get too preoccupied with your breathing and you forget you got to compete. <laughs> but that's that's part of the learning stage. And then after you stay with it a while, then you can go to that prep when you need it and get your energy going back out into the battle. All right. All right. Very good. Thanks, Thank you, Yep. We got the ring. Got the finish of battle here. Two more out.